good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for our second upload of the day. If you guys missed our video from this morning regarding some AEW action figure news as well as some WWE figure news, definitely go check that out, guys. But today, finally, we have official images of our AEW Unrivaled Collection Wave Number 4 featuring the lineup that we've been talking about the past few weeks. And we have official images today, guys, posted by Jeremy, and he absolutely killed it. I think his team and everybody over there at AEW Jazz Wears Wicked Cool Toys, man. They brought it together, man, and we're going to go ahead and dive into it immediately. So getting started, guys, let's start things off with the MDT Elite Champion, Kenny Omega. This is his second figure in the main Unrivaled line. We, of course, did our have our ringside exclusive and our Series 1. But here it is in all its glory, and look at how beautiful this figure looks. I am in love with this thing. I think it looks fantastic. I think the big thing about this, man, is that this gear doesn't look as good in real life as it does in figure form. Look at how damn good this, this gear looks, man. Like, you can see all the details in it, not quite like you could in real life like it's airbrushed in real life so it's kind of hard to make up those details unless you were there in person but as you guys can see you got the gold omega logos i love this the updated skin tone man oh my god in heaven this looks immaculate i'm loving the head sculpt i know it is an angry expression face which you know you can say whatever you like you know, I would like a determined or just straight pissed off Kenny, but him yelling like this doesn't bother me that much because we're going to get more Kennys very soon. And this just looks excellent. If anything, I can just repaint another Series 1 head and plop it on here or just plop my one that we painted the other day on Action Figure Surgery on here just as easily and it's going to look damn good. So I love this. I get two expressions now, one pissed off yelling, one straight face. It looks great, man. Skin tone looks great. All of the details in the in the freaking gear looks amazing, man. Like all that mechanic stuff going on on the kick pads. You have like, like the navy and silver and the gold and the browns going on on these tights. This looks sick as shit, man. I, I love this. The entrance vest looks good. Not really a ton of accessories. It looks like he's probably just going to come with interchangeable hands and the vest. But you know, it is what it is. But the shooter hand looks great. The attire looks great. Head sculpt looks great. This is a bomb ass figure, man. Go put in your pre order right now using promo code MDTOY so you don't miss this. I'd order seven of them. This, this thing looks freaking amazing. So, Kenny Omega looks great. I think it blows away his Series 1 figure, and it's not even close. But let's go ahead and move on, guys. Moving forward now, this is kind of crazy because you guys remember the gold Cody Rhodes figure that we showed off earlier this week. Well, earlier this morning, I was going to mention this in this video that we thought we got images leaked of the unmatched Series 1 Cody, but it ended up being this Cody, which is Series number 4. So I think that the gold version that we saw is going to be the Chase variant. There's going to be a gold Chase variant version, and this version is in the black and lime green attire with the Thronebreaker t-shirt. I love the head sculpt, like the smiling photo op head, the Pharaoh Elite boots. This thing looks great as well. I'm all for all the Cody Rhodes figures, man. I don't really have a problem with it. But this is yet again another Cody figure, this time in black tights, updated skin tone. Head sculpts look good. It's the same Series 1 head sculpt, but it is the right skin tone. And, of course, the smiling head that we are going to also get on that ringside exclusive Cody that we took a look at just yesterday or this morning. So that is great figure weight belt looks great and everything i don't see i don't think we have an image of what the belt looks like like all the details or the decals that are on the belt but nonetheless i like the cody rhodes figure i love the throne breaker shirt and uh, it, it looks great i really enjoy this a lot but it's yet again another cody and i'm guessing again like i said the gold version is going to be the chase variant and everything what do you guys like which attire do you like so far out of all the cody's out of all the cody's that we have like there's so many already to count up let me know which one you guys like the most you could even include that ringside exclusive one that we took a look at with the TNT Championship. Just let me know down below which one you like. But Cody also looks great, guys. Thronebreaker t-shirt looks good, and I love the quality of their t-shirts that we've gotten so far. Next in the set, guys, is going to be Sammy Guevara. Sammy Guevara unveiled here, and he looks great as well. I think this head sculpt's really cool. The tongue out head sculpt. I think the likeness is there. I think this definitely looks like Sammy Guevara. It is a rubber leather jacket. We've already we already knew what this figure was gonna look like because we saw the render image. But finally seeing it in full figure form, in package and everything, 
it looks good. I think the, you know, the ring gear looks good, the black and gold. I, I really like this. I'm not a huge Sammy Guevara guy. I think he's good in the ring and, and things like that, but I'm not the biggest fan of him. However, I think this this figure looks bomb. I think they did an outstanding job on it. The head sculpt, the sunglasses, the leather jacket, uh, the attire's good and everything like that. And I'm sure one day we're going to get like a little panda accessory like headgear, headpiece thing that we'll probably get one day. But nonetheless, Sammy Guevara is looking damn good. Next up, guys, we have Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy is, this is his first figure, of course, in the AEW line. Can't wait to compare it to Mattel's. But as you guys can see here, he is going to come with his entrance coat. He has his red streak in his hair instead of the blonde one. We have our Woken Matt Hardy. I love all the details and the print coming on on this entrance jacket. Black wrist tape. He is going to come with a ton of interchangeable hands and everything like that. One thing that does bum me out a little bit is in these images, we don't have an image of him shirtless or without the entrance coat on, so that kind of bothered me a little bit. Really wish we could have gotten an entrance coat removed image so that I could see what the torso looked like, what it looked like compared to everything else and everything like that. We unfortunately do not have that, so we'll have to see about that. But nonetheless, I like the way Matt Hardy looks. I'm not complaining about it. Head sculpt looks great. I love the, you know, the yes, head sculpt and everything like like that it does look like his red pants are going to be the pants that he comes with and we did know that he would be the chase variant so we already know what that chase variant looked like in that uh, in that leaked image that we took a look at so that's going to be the chase variant this is the regular version right here and yeah I, I like this Matt Hardy a lot can't wait to get it in hand and look at it but not only do we have Matt Hardy guys we also have the pride and powerful also known as LAX also known as Santana and Ortiz we'll take a look at Santana first of all guys we already knew we were getting Santana Santana because we saw it in the leaked image much like Kenny Omega much like the chase variant Matt Hardy and Santana is even better than I freaking thought man you got the headband you got the accessories I like the attire going on with this guy tons and tons of accessories coming with this guy I love it. I love everything about it. Tattoos look good. Head sculpts look good. I think it's very creative the way they made this figure. It is going to come with an interchangeable head sculpt that does have the eye patch over the eye right there. He's going to come with the, you know, the sock that's got the things inside of it. So you, we now have an accessory of a sock with things stuffed in it. I can't even think of all the creative ways that pick fetters are going to be using this thing. Interchangeable hands as well. And of course, like we talked about, he does have his waist wrap right there. I don't think you can like pull it up and put it over over the shoulders of the figure but nonetheless it looks damn good on the figure and I think it looks great I think it would have been a freaking crazy if you could put it up over the shoulders but I think it's just one of those things that you could twist the figure and pop off if you wanted to to give him regular pants or to give him the overalls look or that they're folded down there like Kurt Angle or something so still think it's great love all the accessories Santana looks fantastic and you know we can't have Santana without his partner Ortiz and this Ortiz looks immaculate. I love everything going on with it. I love all the accessories that we're getting with it. I love the two interchangeable head sculpts. He does have his inner circle t-shirt on there which looks great. I like the shoe. Everything that like is what what I love about these AEW figures is like it feels like everything is like unique to its own figure. You know, it's not like a bunch of repetitive sculpts over and over. I feel like every time we get a new figure, a new wave, most of the time, we're gonna get something new with the figure, which I really, really appreciate right here. So this t-shirt mold looks really good. The head sculpt with the headband looks really good with the braids coming down. The the afro head sculpt or the, the interchangeable head sculpt looks so good, man. I love the big hair head sculpt. I love the expression, so you get your yelling face you also get your, your you know your pissed off face and all the interchangeable abilities of this is great as well as his interchangeable gloved hands he has his one gloved hand that is solid black and then the other one that does have his flags colors on there lots of great things going on with this one as well white wrist tape on it and we have to talk about the flip-flop accessory man he has a flip-flop accessory again tons of great things that are going through my brain as far as pick feds are concerned and things of that nature so overall i think that they completely nailed it i think series four i honestly like it's sitting right here i feel like all the series are kind of running together in my brain so it's kind of hard to pick out which series is the best but i feel like series four may be the best to this point right now at least in my head right now you know it, at first glance when i'm thinking of it in my brain i could be wrong about that if i sat back and thought about it but Series 3 was really good, but Series 4 is looking damn good, Brad. One thing that is also interesting to point out, guys, is that Jeremy also took to Twitter and said that he will be creating figure stands for the AEW line.
And so I don't know what exactly that entails, you know, what details that entails. He just said that he will be creating stands for the AEW figure. So we'll just have to see about that. But overall, I couldn't really be happier with what we got, man. I really I really can't. I think I think overall they just nailed it. And this is just immaculate. I would love to know down in the comment section below, guys, which figure is your favorite? I really can't even pick. I honestly I think I have to go with Kenny. I I, I know it's kind of cliche, whatever, but that's my elite champion, man. I gotta back my elite champion. My MDT champion was the best figure in WWE Elite 84 with Roman Reigns. Gotta do the same th here with Kenny Omega. I think I'm just so excited for the figure that I can't contain myself, but actually, as I'm repeating, guys, as I am talking right now, I have officially confirmed that AEW Series 4 Chase Variant 1 of 1000 is going to be the Cody Rhodes figure in the gold attire that we talked about with the t-shirt with Pharaoh on it and everything like that. It's also going to include the tattoo. Damn, I hate that this is the Chase Variant, bro. Really do hate it because just Jesus. This, uh, this, this gold on these pants is fantastic. The way I'm looking at it right now. Holy Christ, man. This figure looks immaculate. I, I think this is fantastic. I really wish that this would have been the main Elite line version or the main Unrivaled line, but still, man, I love both of them. This is the one that we, of course, did leak in the images that we were talking talking about so I guess you can take back what I said earlier in the video but dude I guess they're probably going to release the images of the Matt Hardy at any moment now so I'll put those up as soon as possible but Jesus man that Cody looks incredible I really wish that I could freaking find I wish that I could find these things I really need to find these chase variants man it's really driving me up the damn wall and I'm not going to spend $1,200 on it you know and speaking of which ladies and gentlemen as I am speaking AEW exclusive news we hear you we want more of you to be able to get your hands on chase and rare starting in a few waves we will increase the chase and rare numbers to 5,000 and 3,000 units that is absolutely massive news so now they won't be nearly as you know they will they're still going to be difficult to find for sure but that's way better than 500 and a thousand so that is excellent huge shout out to jeremy for that right there jeremy's the goat man he he is a beast he really is listening i know the whole the team is listening and we could not be more appreciative of that so you got to respect any people that want to listen to the feedback about their product and they want to improve it says a lot about them and says a lot about everything that they're doing man but I'm going to wait around just a few more minutes so I can get the Matt Hardy images, and then I will come back to you guys, but this Cody looks fantastic. And here are the images of the 1 in 500 Matt Hardy. I don't know how many images I have, because at the time of recording, I don't have any more images, but it looks like this whole shirt, guys, is completely cloth, which is kind of crazy. I think it looks immaculate, though. I think they did a really good job. I definitely like the regular version better than the Chase, but it's not to say that I wouldn't be hella excited if I found the Chase out in the wild or something, but same head sculpt, same arms and everything no entrance coat. The attire is completely different. It's kind of crazy how they completely changed the attire. It's not like it's just a repaint. I mean, this is completely different legs. It's got a new shirt on there. It doesn't have the entrance coat. So it's kind of crazy how different it is between the Chase and the regular version. But nonetheless, this shirt looks really good on the Matt Hardy. I think it looks great and everything like that. But it is significantly different than the regular version. But I do, in fact, favor the regular version over the Chase variant version. But there is both Chases. Matt Hardy is the 1 in 500. And then the gold cody is the one in 1000 out of the chases so i think that's all i have for you guys today as far as the images are concerned again they are going to start increases i don't know what wave but it does say that they're going to start increasing the number of chase variants moving forward to 5000 and 3000 instead of 1500 so hopefully that will help but before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out. So this shout-out is going to go to WFP Productions Wrestling Figure P. He says, WWE announces a return for the Rumble in Edge, spoiling the return. You've crossed the line. And I agree with that, Brad. I just didn't like that they announced that. Like, why would you do that unless it was going to be some sort of swerve or something? I don't know, man. That kind of ruined it for me. I did not like that they kind of ruined Edge's return at the Rumble. I guess they didn't want to take away from last year's return, but I don't think it would have mattered. I think it still would have been very big and everything. Would have been great. I was already expecting his return. Them announcing it did dumb it down a little bit, but... I already knew he would be coming back for the Rumble. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it. Thank you to WFP Productions for that comment. Let me know what you think of AEW Series 4 down in the comment section below, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line, Bradley.